Hi Aquarius, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Y'all, this is going to be a channel message, okay? So what's up? Welcome back. You're seeing me again, so you know what it is. Also, like my video, comment down below, because you know they've been trying to shadow ban your girl channel. Okay, so... Also, if you see something in my mouth, it's not what you think. Um, It's like a cavity that I have. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this channel message, y'all. So, the last one was actually quite um raw so somebody is trying to find somebody who would help them but not you okay a collective so aquarius check this out this person has been doing magic and somehow it ended up backfiring on a third party that somehow they're involved with and now this person is unsure how to reverse it or reverse the adverse effects so basically what i'm saying is that let's say Let's say somebody was sending magic your way, right? And you could have did like a return to send a spell or like, you know, you've just been protecting yourself spiritually. You know, I am rubber, you are glue. You could have been using affirmations, incantations, whatever that you've been using here spiritually. Or, you know, you know, if you're just protected like that and you, you know, you do your ancestral veneration and offerings and all that stuff. Cool. But, excuse me. Also, I'm hearing the excerpt. You said, fuck me. And I said, cool. So now what's the problem? Like, whoever this person is, you, you told them, okay, cool. Like, you don't like me. Fuck me. Whatever it is. Excuse me. But now, this is somebody here. Um, I don't know if you have just seen that orb just then. But you know I be having a spirit in the building. Beloved in the building. Okay? But, yeah. Literally. So, somebody is trying to get somebody to help them. But, you know, sometimes, um, especially, like, me personally in, like, indigenous um, rituals and routines. So, like, if you're, like, a part of, you know, um... Um, when I say Indian, I mean like indigenous as in aboriginals or like, you know, the, um, I'm not going to, I don't want to say Indians because people get mad when I say that, but I don't want to say Indians. I don't want to sound uncultured or, you know, unclassified or whatever it is. I just want to say like, you know, Native Americans. Okay. So Native American, like if you are Native American, like me personally, I am Choctaw and I am, um, Powhatan. Okay. I want to say Powhatan Indian. So, or Native American, um. Now, I do have my papers, of course. Um, but, y'all, so, somebody literally was doing magic, and it's backfiring, and now that they're unsure of how to reverse it. So, whoever this is, I feel like they are weaker than you, or their spiritual team, or whatever spirits, or whatever they're working with is weaker than you, okay? And... I don't know why I'm picking up. This person could be Caucasian or fair-skinned, okay? For some of you guys. For some of you guys, whoever this person is, they could be in their late 30s to 40s, okay? Um, I don't know why I'm picking up a fair-skinned person. Like, I'm not going to say fair-skinned. Somebody who's fucking white, okay? Somebody who's white, Caucasian, you know, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and then I have magical streams. Some of you guys could have took, like, a spiritual bath, or I feel like, you know, you could be a, have water sign placements. Or, like I said, the spiritual realm is protecting you, but... It's very sad because they literally have tried to wash this off. They tried to wash the stink off. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, you know how somebody gets sprayed by a skunk, okay? And then they have to wash off the tomato juice, like put tomato juice and all these things to neutralize the odor of the skunk smell. It's like they're doing everything, but they have a spiritual smell to them. So people know that they've been hexed, so they know that it's blown up in their face. So like, you know when somebody shoplifts, and let's say they try to pull the tag off, but there's like the blue ink. So like, if you try to pull it off, it'll stain your hands blue or stain the criminal blue or whatever it is. This person is, like, spiritually marked or stained or, um, it could even be physically, like, there's some type of marker or something that shows, ha ha, gotcha, like, gotcha, like, you know, whoever this is, um, but yeah, they, they're trying to find somebody, or they're looking for a shaman, a Bible lord, an elder, um, a hoodoo man, conjure man, conjure woman, uh, uh, some type of practitioner, they're looking for literally anybody who will help them, but they're not going to ask you because, you know, there could have been an elder, and or they could have been spiritually told that they have to go to the person that they originally sometimes um in native american tribes you will literally have to go to the person who you put the curse on or you know you try to do this and that or whatever too and you have to go to that person and somehow make a mental with them or do something they want or whatever it is that they want or their give back is in order for this to be reversed and this person is unwilling to do that. Their ego, their pride, whatever it is, it's too fucking large. So they're not going to do that at all, okay? Um, 
Yeah, let's pull some cards from this person's energy. But like I said, it's not them. It's the third party that is near and dear to their heart. So, like, if this is somebody, this could be, like, their daughter, their sister, their cousin. Somebody who's a third party in their life who they love dearly. This could actually be their partner. This could be, like, their sibling, Um, you know, their aunt. Somehow, some way, this person either related to them or they care deeply about this person who has gotten hit. Because this is somebody here who thought they're like, oh, I know if it's going to reverse, it's going to hit me. But no, it actually hit this person of interest. And whoever the person of interest is, this third party, whoever this is, they either, they never, I'm going to say this, they never thought they're like, oh, this would actually, like, you know, come back to me, but not me, but this person. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, whoever this person is, they are a page. This person who did this magic, okay, they are a fucking page. Or who did the ritual, whatever they sent out, or whatever the fuck they did over there, their page, page of pentacles. This is somebody here who they're a student. They are still learning. They don't know what they're doing. They're mixing stuff together, conjuring shit, doing whatever it is. Like something about toadstool. If you're familiar with toadstool, what the actual herb for that is. Um, I don't have my herb herbiary book right here with me or my grimoire. But if hey Dana, if you do, um, feel free to comment that. But like I said, a page is somebody who's a student, somebody who's an, um, an amateur, okay? Somebody who, they don't really understand what they're doing, but they know what outcome they want. But this person is a page, so like I feel like you outrank them spiritually, or like you're you're stronger than them, you're wiser than them, or you just have more power than them. Because normally, whenever somebody casts a curse, or casts some type of magic, nine times out of ten, in order to break it, or um, in order to uh, surpass this, you have to be stronger than the person that cast the spell. Okay, um, everybody knows that when it comes to Native American or just any type of hoodoo uh, work or rituals, okay. But, um, yeah, we have the page of wands. So these are two pages, two peas in a pod, two pages in a pod. But the person who they cast it on the page, it's going to be somebody who travels a lot here. Maybe they work a lot. I'm getting with the page of wands. Whoever this person is who got the actual hit of the magic or the hit of the backfire, this is somebody here who um, they dress really well. They may look very fancy. They keep up with their looks. Or this person is just very caught up in the material world. Very caught up in passionate energies. Very caught up in being... Uh, they could dress very flamboyantly, okay? I don't know why I'm getting, like, um, Lionel Richie vibes, okay? Um, but, yeah, with the moon card, this is exactly what happened. Because I feel like whoever this third party is... They knew what was going on. They knew what it was, but somehow they were there for like moral support or however this person is somehow warped into this or wrapped into this with the page of swords energy. Um, it's, 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 so these are giving page of swords vibes. Okay, so these people, I feel like, you know, their own lookers or the outlookers are like I said. These motherfuckers were stalking, studying you or studying what they were doing or whatever it is. But they didn't have all the knowledge or everything they needed to make this will of fortune happen. Or, you know, to make whatever spill or curse or whatever they wanted, whatever the outcome was that they wanted, okay, be a success. Because they wanted this to be a success. But with the death card, this end up not even being a success or end up transforming or somehow um, irreverse, um, irreversibly being wrong. Like, you know how if you ever see the movie Aladdin and Aladdin says, never ask me to bring somebody up from, back from the dead because it doesn't look pretty. Or, you know, never ask me to make somebody fall in love. Like, there's certain things that he, that the genie tells Aladdin that, hey, I'm not going to do these things because they turn out crazily. This was one of them, whatever the fuck it was. Ten of Cups, this could have been like them trying to cast something on your emotional fulfillment or on your family or something. Oh, not only on your emotional fulfillment, but your materials as well. So this was like Whatever this was they were clicking up, this was some somehow supposed to like um take away your happiness or good things or whatever you were celebrating or having a good time about or whatever makes you feel emotionally grounded, secure, or happy or you know, your well being. Could even be your health and also like your you know, your money, your finances, your family. Like th this was like something that was conjured up like minuscule, but there were so many different types of um I feel like there was an outcome, but like the outcome was supposed to serve a billion and one purposes. And you know, this person somehow, some way it backfired because it's like too many directions. Too many directions at one time, okay? Or too much going on at one time. Oh god. So now this person is literally going anywhere they this person don't give a fuck who it is they could be a crackhead on the street who tells them hey like you know how people used to open up their jacket back in the day and have all that shit hanging and like hey i got something for you over here like this person will literally try anything once because they can't remove it themselves or they can't clean up this mess themselves they have to find somebody else like i said they're going through a storm right now 
number six card six talks about karma past mysteries solved things of that nature but th th this 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 is just what it is and, and and that's that's just what it is what it is and what's up got gotcha your in the cup what it is what's gucci okay like yeah and I feel like what's going on here, yeah, like I said, these two birds, these two bird brains or their bird brain scheme, like I said, these are cranes. So, they're supposed to be acting majestically, but I feel like, like I said, with this nine card, they have to make a karmic change and they somehow have to come towards you or be nice towards you or somehow <clears throat> have or do a kind gesture to you, but they're refusing to do this. But with the number 18 card... They're literally trying to find anybody who will help them. You see how this dog has a collar and is looking for anybody that can take them on a walk outside. Like this person, these people are looking for anybody. But it's not even the person who has the magic on them. It's the person who did the magic to begin with. They're looking for any motherfucking body. Like, imagine these birds, right? But imagine them getting into an oil spill and they're having oil all over them. And they have to try to find some Dawn soap or something to get this off. Yeah, like I said, we have a... Um, magnifying glass and then we have the compass these motherfuckers went the wrong way or somehow there was a, a mix up here or somehow something was off kilter or off the radar or you know you know how they have powerpuff girls and he somehow mixes chemical x in and makes them superheroes like it's the total opposite mm, okay so it's actually kind of sad let, let, let's see who this person was who was actually throwing this this way. I don't know why I'm feeling. Oh, I don't know why I'm picking up. This is a white woman. This is a white woman, age uh late thirties to early forties. I'm getting thirty eight to forty five vibes. Yeah, this could be somebody who's LGBTQ. But like I said, at the bottom of the deck set up. Either this is one of the, this is like their lover. This could be their lover. Okay, th this actually has hit. Yeah, this could be their lover that this has this this chaotic ass magic or this chaos has hit and um went back to and there's no possible way they can reverse this yeah because i feel like whoever this person was they do have tattoos and they were power hungry and they wanted all this stuff to happen they wanted the crown or they wanted to you know i don't know i'm hearing the bad girl so, um themes um theme song what i want yeah i get it yeah that's right, I said it. Live the life you wish you had. Sugary spice and everything. Ba -ba -ba bad girl, sugar so tough. Don't you think you can roll with us? Like, welcome to the bad girls club. Like, like, yeah. I don't know why I'm picking up, like, bad girls club. Maybe, you, like, you could see, like, references to this. Or maybe you just watched it. Or whatever this is. What is this? Oh, my. Thing. I don't know. But, yeah. So, this is actually really, it's not sad, but it's just like, now nah, why the fuck would you do that? It's like your consequences. You've made an ass out of yourself. I want to know, like, is anybody helping them? Let's see. Who is the person who actually has the magic on them? Okay, let's, let's, let's go ahead and look at this person. Yeah, whoever this is who has the magic on them. And then I have karma at the bottom of the deck. This person knows that this is their karma. But whoever this person is, you cannot trust them. Like, even though they're not all the way involved, but they're involved, you cannot trust them. This is somebody, like I said, they're involved into the material realm heavily. This person could dress very flamboyantly, or they always have to, you know, um, be at bars. They could possibly have some type of addiction to you, or they're just heavily caught up in the material world in some way. This person could smoke, okay, they can drink, but this person is very stubborn as well. Um, Somebody could also watch HGTV. I don't know why I just picked up HGTV or watch some... It's a show that I'm literally seeing somebody, something about home improvement that could be of significant, like, little, not the show home improvement, but, like, somebody improving their home. Like, oh, we're going to sell this home and we're going to fix this up, like, fix her upper eyes. But, yeah, cry for help. This person is literally crying for help. And it's actually really sad because now they're sending you the evil eye, but it's like they're also sending the evil eye to their partner. Because their partner lied about being um, this stronger. Their partner, I feel like they got themselves in a similar situation like this in a past life. May not have involved you, but um, they thought like this lifetime somehow it would work. But this person is still caught up in their diva ways. Or somehow they attacked another divine feminine or someone who is like a diva. A diva is a female version of a hustler. So like somebody who's in their feminine energy or somebody who is a divine feminine or a goddess or something of that sort some type of divine feminine um person or energy they did this in a previous lifetime but i feel like what it was somehow this was something different okay like something different they attacked this person with but it's like this is a recurring cycle like this person is not um 
they're not learning their lesson and whoever these two individuals is i feel like they have been partnered up in a previous lifetime or two to three previous life cycles before and this person's like you just don't fucking learn you just don't fucking learn like this is actually really sad like it's not even sad but it's just like <sighs> Let's get some in this card. So I'm going to pull three of them. First card, I have Stubborn Motherfucker. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm hearing Ignite Shit, the song by Drake. I'm hearing, like, if I do it, I'm going to do it like an etc. I'm going to do it repping. So, this person going to be, like, repping, like, yeah, I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm this. I'm dead. This is going to happen. And it blew up in your face. Yeah, make the best of it all. Like, this person trying to make the best of the situation, but they can't make the best of the situation when their partner, whoever this is that they're dealing with, this third party is, is somehow, um... Because I feel like you're not a third party. You're like a, a first or second party. Like you're the person of interest. This third party is like their lover or something like that or whatever they got going on. But this is actually, it's not sad. I don't I don't even know what to call it. It's kind of like pathetic. I'm going to say pathetic. Last card. Yeah, the situation imploded on them. Literally, that's what it was. Okay. Mind you, you guys know I'm just pulling the cards and that's just what happens to come out. But let's see. Did they find anybody to help them? Let's shuffle one time. Okay, so how warning gaslighting detected. So they're trying to gaslight somebody to help them. Whoever they're trying to gaslight to help them is somebody here who has could possibly have like BPD, a bipolar disorder, or somebody whoever is issue they're trying to get to help them. This person is bipolar, but they're um they could be protecting themselves. I don't know, I'm getting like cloaking. If you guys don't know this, some people do have the ability to cloak not only themselves, they can cloak cars, buildings, cloak their whereabouts, cloak their location. This is like a spiritual gift that you can have where like um, you literally, it's similar to invisibility, but you're not invisible. You're just not making any sudden movements or um, even if you're do moving, but like you're so, uh, like people like are going to be so oblivious to your energy to you moving in the background or whatever you're doing to the point where you just don't exist or people don't see you. Like you can move like a ghost if that makes sense, but you're not invisible. People just don't see you. But whoever this is who they are trying to gaslight into helping them and trying to say that it's your fault or whatever the fuck, however they're coming up with this story and whoever they're gaslighting and saying whatever happened, this person that they're trying to help is somebody who's a recluse. This person is a recluse. They could definitely be like an um a air, another air sign or just somebody here who could possibly have air somewhere in their chart. Um, I'm hearing specifically air in their Jupiter. Okay, or air in their actual Saturn. Okay, or um in their uh, Lilith. Something about their Lilith placement is of significance. They can even have air or um Earth in their Lilith placement. Okay, but yeah, like I said, whoever this person is who they're trying to get to help them, literally emancipated, okay, um, liberation from all restrictions. They're gaslighting. This is a masculine energy. This is a, this is somebody here who's good at their work, who's good at what they do, and I feel like they make a lot of money, but either this is their full-time job when it comes to like um, the alchemical or spiritual arts this is their full-time job this person could also be like a professor or uh, somebody who works like at a bar somewhere somehow some way they have like this flip side thing where like um they do a very normal basic job to where like they stay on their radar so like either this person's like a bartender or you know they work at a pub or a cigar bar or like they're a teacher or like you know they work in um it or tech something of that sort this person works in this field or this is like something they have a specialty in or they're very good at okay um somebody can even be um into politics or in, into the judicial system or i'm hearing also into um what, what do you call that um not crypto zoology even though i really want that to be my career um what do you call it i I can't even think of it. Not like somebody could also be a professor as well, not just a teacher, but an actual professor. If they are a teacher, they have to be like history or something of that sort. But no, I'm, 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 this, these are like the different careers that I'm picking up, okay, or different things this person is good at. But, um, yeah, like this is a masculine here who's who they're asking to help them. Let's see what this masculine thinks. Let's see what this masculine thinks. Let's see what they think. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards up. Let's 
see. Whoever the lover's card. I just seen the lover's card and I just seen the hierophant. So who whoever this masculine is, they're here here they go. And here's this masculine. They're, this masculine could even be a Taurus or a Gemini. Uh don't have to be, but these are the cards for Taurus and Gemini. Um or like I said, whoever this masculine is, um and I said this person is really good at what they do, but they keep it either hidden or like I'm hearing who sent you or like where did you come from or how did you find me or what did you, you know, four of cups. So with the four of cups, this person does not want to help them. They don't want to help them at all, but they're trying to guess like this person. But this person could be like bipolar or they have some type of um, mental disorder, like where they have anxiety, they're bipolar or they're like um, BPD, ADD, ADHD. They have something of that sort, but like either they take medication for it and you stop taking it or like it, it may even be just undiagnosed and they know how to control it. But... Like I said, whoever this person is, they're like, I'm not fucking helping y'all. I'm, I'm not fucking helping y'all. With the world card and the three of swords and the nine of swords, yeah. This person is not going to help them with the world card. This person wants to wash them hand, their hands of the situation or they're, they're literally saying like, why would you even come over here with that? Like, why would you even... Also, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like whatever this is that they have on them, like um, spiritually, like it's it has some type of odor or reek or somehow it's like trailing... And whoever this person is, they have dealt with something like this before or they've dealt with a situation to where people like are trailing them or looking for this person or they're somehow an incognito, okay? And then them coming to this person, it's just like, you're trying to come and give me this opportunity like you're giving me the world, like you're actually doing me a favor when I'm doing you guys a favor. And with the three of swords and the nine of swords, this person is just like, oh, like the, whoever, this, whoever this is who has the magic on there and they're crying, they're like, you're not going to help me. And they're like, hell the fuck no, nine of swords. Um, they can tell the anguish, but with the ten of wands of verse, they look like you got yourself in a stick situation. And you come to contact me, eight of wands. You guys can have your time to yourself because like I said, whoever this person is coming to help them, this is a masculine. They are a divine masculine, like I did say with hermit mode. Like I said, they are incognito of some type of sort or they're like hidden in plain sight. This person is like really gray or really like um, tawdry or just really like black and whitish. Okay, person could also be um into some type of uh secret societies or like you know they've been affiliated with them in their earlier past. Okay, but yeah, nine of wands. This person has their guard up and they're saying like I don't give a fuck if y'all are coming with whatever the fuck it is. I'm not helping y'all. Strip card. I don't give a fuck if you stroke my ego. But yeah, five pentacles. This motherfucker is literally shutting the door on them. This motherfucker looks at the other side like I'm not helping y'all. So I don't even know what you're asking me. So now these people are on the hunt for to find somebody new to gaslight, okay, or somebody new to um, help them. The number 734 could be a significance, but like I said, this is a betrayal. Yeah, and I feel like somebody's ego got themselves in a situation and now they're trying to figure out how to get out of it. And, you know, somebody's health could even be at risk as well, too, where um, somebody could possibly pass away if they haven't already, if it, if it goes too long. Okay, I'm hearing adverse effects. Like, you know how... Um, if you guys don't know this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. Um, one thing about magic and rituals and things of that sort when you're casting and you're doing these works, you need to remember that all magic has a half-life. If you Like if you've been in chemistry before and you learn like alpha, beta, you know, half-lives and all the other stuff, that stuff applies to magic as well if you don't know that. If you, don't, if you do know that, cool. If you don't know that, you need to go ahead and do your research, okay? Um... I'm just the one giving you guys the cues. I'm not going to give you guys all the all the details and stuff. But anyways, yeah, that's what it is. So this person, these these people, high priestess card. Until they seven of cups come to you, or, or until they um, you know, exa um, exhaust all their possibilities, and then decide that they have to come towards you and say something with the nine of cups and the ace of wands. Kiss your ass, or you know, in order to get your wish fulfillment, they're gonna have the ace of wands. You know, have a new beginning with you, or somehow do something that you want, or you know, whatever it is. You know, um, when they finally come forth to the seven of pentacles, they're gonna realize, like, damn, this is like the last thing I gotta do, and you're gonna be looking so smug and pleased, like, uh, you finally came here, like, oh, you finally gave up. Yeah, two of wands, two of cups, and the ace of pentacles. These people have to come be cool to you, or somehow, um, create some type of camaraderie in order to for you to bestow this wish on them, and for you to somehow make a decision to, in order to help them, or to somehow help 
get rid of this. Because if not, they're just going to stay in this Five of Pentacles energy. Because you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Say So, you have the Wish. You literally have that. And I feel like with the Knight of Wands energy, these people are like, you know, this is an important letter. Or, you know, you may have already uh, got this memo before. You already picked up on this spiritually for some of you guys. But if not, you're going to get a, a spiritual cease and desist. Or they may have recently got one. You're going to get one, okay? But, um... Yeah, four wands and a cherry card. There's some news coming to you about this, okay? Um, but yeah, this is what it is, okay, y'all. I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but this is what it definitely what it is, okay? I hope you guys did love this. But this is some crazy ass shit, okay? Um, check out the description box. I appreciate you guys for being here. I'm liking the video, you know, uh, subscribing, etc. But yeah, I will definitely see you all later. Bye.